Hey everyone, CPO here, and you have been asking me for updates on the TJ build for my son, CJ. Um, and here it is. So let me show you where we're at. So we actually just pulled it out of the garage today and uh, it pretty much looks the same as it did, unfortunately. Until you get to the back end, boom. So yeah, the uh, rear suspension is complete and uh, have the new uh, 33 inch tires on. You can see that's quite a big difference, <laughs> don't you think? Um, wow, it, it really confused us at first when we first uh, put it off the jack and jack stands because it still looked like it was jacked up in the back. It's because it's, it is, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, uh, I just was uh, working on mounting the uh, spare tire uh, onto the tire carrier here. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's uh, phase one is the rear, and then basically pulled it out, turned it around, and then we're sort of organizing and cleaning up the garage, and then we'll do the front end, which may or may not be easier. I have no idea. I'm thinking it's gonna be easier, um, but who knows. So I took all of next week off, the week after Christmas, the week of Christmas, the week following Christmas, all that time, took it off. My plan is to finish this Jeep. Um, CJ's out from school for a lot of that, so it'll be super convenient. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing knocked out. So probably one of the challenges I had uh, that I struggled with the most, obviously we um, pulled the gas tank to cut off those uh, upper shock mounts, uh, which I have, uh, I think you can see those in there, new, new bolts and all that stuff. Um, I don't remember what my last update was with you guys, so... Uh, Done a lot back here. Um, did drain uh, the fluid and uh, put new diff fluid in the back and uh, did undercoat uh, everything. Just, you know, try and clean it up a little bit. But anyway, that is that. What else? Oh, um, when I did the body lift, so the filler neck, it's a rubber hose, is um, goes from here down to the fuel tank. Well, when you raise the body, it raises this hole but obviously the gas tank doesn't move so what you end up with is a super stretched filler uh, hose which a lot of people do that when they do a body lift some people will actually lengthen uh, or adjust that hose during the body lift we didn't really worry about it it worked out fine probably stretched super tight but then when I dropped the fuel tank uh, to do those shock mount uh, bolts well put it all back in and it was an inch and a half short of being where it needed to be. So it uh, took a lot of time to get down in there. I already put all the fender liner back on. Basically, I pulled this fender liner and got in there and pulled off the uh, hose clamps for the upper and lower part of that filler tube and uh, stretched and pulled and tugged and finally got it to where um, I could get a little bit more distance out of it so that would reach. That was one challenge I wasn't really expecting. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, we're rocking. I did notice one thing, by the way, when I pulled it out. This is the first time to actually drive it. Um, the uh, here, Here's a good tip. Um, add diff oil uh, with a key stabbed into it. That way, whenever we drive it, we know that uh, I need to finish working on uh, diff fluid levels. I wanted to find, do a final check before I um, considered it done when the Jeep was actually level. So anyway, that's why that's there. So I don't forget because it's taking me so long to do this. But anyway, when I go into full reverse, um, because of the body lift, uh, I'm hitting the back end of this. And I hear that that's a problem a lot of people have. So I may go in and trim underneath this boot out a little bit. So when I pull into reverse, um, you know, I don't have any issues. It goes in reverse fine. It's just, you can feel it kind of touching and you got to kind of give it some pressure until it grabs the gear. So, um, so far that's the only problem I have. I haven't really uh, experienced a problem with four low, which is also another uh, side challenge some people have after doing a body lift, but uh, I'll test that out later. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's the 2004 Project TJ that uh, is coming along nicely. There's my son. <laughs> he didn't think he was going to be on camera. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.